how that other person is going to behave even in comfort confrontation so one primary thing which you are fearful of we can put all the different kind of fears under one heading and that is a fear of unknownness you are fearful of what is going to come in future life how i am going to become successful or failure in the future unknown i don't know about it how that relationship is going to turn out unknownness in the future so basically it is said that the one very interesting thing that this fear is stored in time because time future fear of unknownness in the future and that is there in the that is time we are fearful of time basically in the future time i do not know what is going to happen that makes me feel fearful so what is the opposite emotions of fearfulness we experience we want to experience what is opposite of fearfulness being certainty what else what we want to be brave courageous more confidence what is the immediate thing if we can get that particular thing everything will be taken care of so now we have understood the origin of most of our action is fear even we pray to god out of fear so what can be the that another emotion which can which you are lacking so basically we are we are feeling fearful because of some unfulfillment protection so all of us wants to be protected all of us wants to be secure so the opposite of fear is in that sense we become fearful because of lack of protection because of lack of security because we feel there is nobody above me i have to take care of myself i have to protect myself i have to secure myself so today last to last we we celebrated nasima jayanti so we just thought of understanding something from prahlad maharaj story so it is said that when a child takes birth so what is the ultimate source of protection for a child for a, for a mother parents father so for a child if you imagine a situation wherein a child does not let's like say child is thinking inside the womb that what's going to happen this world is completely unknown for the child because a child is packed for 9 months in the womb of a mother so if you try to go into the psyche of a small child what psyche child would be thinking before it's before he is coming or she is coming out we do not know what's going to happen unknownness right we do not know what it will be like how they will take care of me who will be inside whose body i am that also child doesn't know so basically for a child when a child takes birth the child comes out of crying because of that fear so it is parents who gives the sense of protection to the child okay we are there for you don't worry so basically it is more of a comforting situation what a child wants to seek so now take the example of parlad maharaj he was small 5 year old boy so what he would be expecting from his parents protection security so although his parents was to become the source of his protection his parents was to become source of his fearlessness but same parents became the source of his fear same parents who were supposed to becoming his own greatest friend they become his greatest enemy that is hiranyakashipu and hiranakshi we know his brother so hiranyakashipu being a father of prahlad maharaj was supposed to be giving the protection to prahlad maharaj but he is the one who is ready to kill his own son so you can just imagine what would be prahlad maharaj situation be like different ways hiranyakashipu is trying to kill prahlad maharaj so once what happened hiranyakashipu thought let me kill my son and 
primarily why he wanted to kill his son primarily he wanted to kill his son because he was a devotee of god he was a devotee of lakshmi uh, narsimha dev he was a devotee of vishnu and narsim hiranyakashipu was a enemy of vishnu so from hiranyakashipu point of view his own son has become the friend of his greatest enemy and from prahlad maharaj point of view his own father who was supposed to become his greatest friend has become his greatest enemy so for that reason hiranyakashipu wanted to kill prahlad maharaj and he tried different ways let's imagine that one small 5 year old boy he's been not been protected and he's been thrown out of the mountain what that child will be feeling and he allowed them to be he allowed himself to be thrown off from the mountain but what happened he got protected he became light like a feather and krishna protected him he was un unharmed even though he was thrown from the mountain but he was unharmed because of protection of krishna narsimha dev then he was put in the room full of venomous venomous snakes very poisonous snakes put into that room dark room you can just imagine what was what was parlad mara situation be like like five year old boy his own father is dragging him to a room which is full of snake and he do not know what's going to happen with him but what happened he came out unharmed and then he tried putting parlad maharaj under the feet of elephant and what happened now again imagine what would what would be parlad maharaj situation like what he would be feeling how much fearful he would be his own father is trying to do that and then in all the cases hiranyakashipu failed then he thought his own sister holika had a boon that he couldn't be she couldn't be burned if she carry one shawl with her that's why we celebrate holika also holy holy mahotsav so he was put in the lap of holika and she was burned to fire but what happened because of a wind that shawl get out of the holika and come to the parlad maharaj so holika got burned parlad maharaj got saved so if you imagine parlad maharaj situation must have been the most panicking situation in the world must have been but how was he experiencing was he panic was he full of anxious anxiousness was he disturbed no although his own father the greatest of friend has become his greatest of enemy and that enemy is very very powerful hiranyakashipu is very very powerful it is said that just by the blink of his eyebrows everybody start used to get afraid everybody in the universe that much powerful demon he was being in the heaven he was able to disturb everybody who was living on the earth so why parlad maharaj was not getting disturbed supposedly he was to become very fearful like we would generally do and we would panic and we would become defensive and we would go in a flight and fight more we'll become freezed or we'll get just paralyzed in a small small little bit of situation but what do you think was parlad maharaj had with him which made him fearless although the people the person who was to give him protection he himself became the cause of his pain still what was the cutting edge or what was the special special thing what parlad maharaj had that he became unharmed he came out unharmed and he remained unaffected faith yes what he had faith faith on whom faith on krishna so one thing it is said that ultimately we have to surrender ourselves to the lord surrender ourselves to krishna feel his protection feel his care feel his security feel his love and the one of the most important principle of surrender is if you study bhagavad gita 18 chapter 66th verse that is a crux that is a kind of the the essence of entire bhagavad gita and that is sarva dharman paritajya mam ekam sharanam vraja ahem tvam sarva papebhyo mokshe shami ma suchah krishna says 
you give up all varieties of religion and just surrender unto me you give up all the different sources of protection what you are trying to seek and come to me and surrender to me how can i surrender to you somebody can ask what will happen to me then krishna says moksha sami ma sucha specifically says he knows will be become fearful how can we give up our own protection we want to take everything everything in our own control and the more we try to take thing under our control and more it goes out of our hand more fearful we become so krishna is specifically saying one word do not fear moksha sami ma sucha do not fear then what what should i do if i don't fear have faith on me so one of the principle of surrender becomes faith avakshe rakshibe krishna ei vishwasa palana what vishwasa we should culture avashe rakshibe krishna krishna will always protect me so that is a fundamental thing what prahlad maharaj was exhibiting in his life he was a live case studies who applied this principle of bhagavad gita in his own personal life and he showed us the results he showed us the result that what can happen if you have that unflinching faith on krishna so in our journey we have to move from fear to faith and how can we reach from fear to faith because now okay i am fearful how do we develop this faith because ultimately if you see the root cause of all our, of all our problems is one thing okay the solution of all our fear is faith so what is stopping us to develop faith what stops us in developing faith doubts it is said in bhagavad gita that doubts act like a do- act, act like likes a door which closes our door 